Hello and welcome to episode 6 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough here, Cycle 10, Day 16. Start of a 9-day drought. Last time, we did a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but one of the things we're going to have to undo this time, or try to undo, is this little nifty uh, single-wide irrigation channel that a bunch of you guys asked for, I thought would be a good idea, so we put it in. And then I have since learned that was a bad choice because of the evaporation mechanic changing. So let's take a look at this and examine exactly why this is a poor choice. Uh, you can see this is actually incredibly low because I blasted so much of this out. And uh, what what's ended up happening is a couple people have done some testing and uh, in the Discord and elsewhere, and I've actually just seen this in a Skystorm video, I've been catching up on his stuff. Um, but single wide channels are incredibly bad at irrigating, as we kind of suspected, but also uh, didn't really fully understand. And the testing that I've seen has pretty much confirmed that this, it's completely useless and we've wasted a lot of time and effort doing this. So we're going to have to fill these back in. Uh, I would like to do it with terraforming, but we don't have access to that yet. So uh, what's going to end up happening is we're just going to lose a whole bunch of water due to evaporation on the single wides and just kind of have to uh, own that until we can fix it because there's not really much else we can do. Uh, but basically the gist of what happens boils down to now a one by one by one uh, square of water, no matter whether it's touched on all sides by ground or by levees, will always evaporate in a little over two days. It's like, what, two and a half or something. Whereas before it was 22 days. So uh, yeah, irrigation evaporation changes have substantially changed what we are going to want to be doing here. So uh, I think for the time being, having all of these central things be five by fives should irrigate everything just fine once we put in our irrigation barriers around the outside. And of course, when we put those in, uh, since we've already unlocked them, I'll just go ahead and show you. We'll pause. We might have done this before, but it bears repeating. Uh, you cannot build paths on top of these. But you can put platforms. And you can also not put ladders because that includes a path. So uh, for us to actually use these things, anything that actually touches this, you can't put in. For us to actually use these things, we're going to have to have them kind of set up as... Uh, either in a pit that we then go over the top of, or there's going to have to be some other kind of setup for that. I thought about maybe putting them at the bottom of this and then building uh, levees on the other side so it doesn't let any water in. We'll see what ends up happening because, I mean, I could easily go underneath this. I don't think that would be a problem at all. We would then just have to put in a wall of levees here or ground. Levees or ground, but again, we don't have access to terraforming yet. We could because it no longer requires bots, but uh, that's not something we're probably going to be getting into because of the amount of the treated planks it requires, which we also don't have. So stuff to think about for the future. I think based on the fact that we're going to want to have as much land as possible dedicated to farming, if we're actually going to be able to support a thousand beavers, we're probably going to put the irrigation barriers down here and then build a second, uh, I guess, technically an outer levee in reference to this. So we'll see what happens with that. That also means that this dam just needs to be returned back to actual ground and a couple of other things as well. But before we unpause, uh, I did a little bit of research and you guys offered some advice on this. The reason the mangroves have dried out, well, they haven't dried out, but the, the water has dried out is because this little bank of floodgates is currently... Well, it's actually not set to anything at all, I don't think. Well, aside from when the drought ends, it goes down, and when the drought starts, it goes up. This being all the way down has caused all of this water to just immediately leave, and it won't retain anything. So what we're going to do is... Somebody suggested this. I'm so glad they did. Uh, since this goes down both sides, what we're going to end up doing is taking this set of platforms out, if I can click correctly... And then what we'll do is we'll replace these with dams. So that way it'll hold 0.6 uh, of a height of water, which will still evaporate in a couple days. Let's let's not get confused here. But that's going to allow the water to at least have a chance of staying in here. 
and that should be a lot uh, easier for us to deal with. So moving forward, that's going to be our plan. Uh, obviously, the bad water coming through here is going to continue to be an issue until we can actually put irrigation barriers in place, uh, which are going to have to be most likely, based on how this is set up, uh, placed along this outer edge, and then these levees and floodgates are going to have to be moved. So I think the best way for us to accomplish this is going to be to just take this out and shift all of this over one more. So this is all the way around the outside here. But we can't build them yet because, well, we don't have this wood workshop ready to go. This isn't going to be generating any power because there's no flow going through it. So we're going to have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, suffice to say, we've got our work cut out for us. We're also not making any planks because we don't have any power. So we will have to fix that as well. And some of you have been uh, more eloquent than others in expressing your opinions <laughs> about, about engines. So uh, we're going to go ahead and just add some in. I know that's uh, not what I was planning on doing earlier, but we need the power and uh, we can afford to research those and we can currently build at least a couple. I just have to clear some space for it. So for that to happen, for this to continue to be our little industrial area, all of this stuff's going to have to move. Uh, explosives, gears, fermented soybeans, everything's just going to kind of uh, find a new spot. Uh, these lumberjack flags probably also need to go, but uh, we need to be able to put another pool in here if we're going to continue doing stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have this whole thing marked for cutting, and I'm going to unmark everything else just so we can get that accomplished. And then we'll come back and replant everything as appropriate down the line. But I have to make sure this gets taken care of. And then we'll go ahead and place in medium warehouse here. This is already paused, so I'll just get rid of it. Plus, that's going to give us space for the uh, warehouse as well. So, fermented soybeans. We'll just stick another one of those right next door to that. And then that can go away. This is storage for gears. Fermented cassavas have no storage uh, occupied. So, I think, I think this will be fine to just put gears here. Get rid of that. Uh, explosives, uh, we don't really have any other storage for those. So, well, in fact, it's not we don't really, it's we don't at all. So those are going to go away, and we'll build a new one just over here, except I can't because there's trees. Never mind. <laughs> we'll have to move that to be somewhere else, because what we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to continue expanding these buildings. Uh, probably remove the centrifuge, rotate it 90 degrees so we can still uh, build next to it and then figure out where we want to put storage for explosives. For right now, the easiest thing to do is just move it across the river here where we have nothing else going on. Because remember, this is all temporary. This is not our final setup. We're just trying to put stuff in places where it will fit. So centrifuge gets demolished. We will rotate it 90 degrees to go right there. And then uh, some sort of something with this. I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that can go away. This little uh, cut through here can go away without removing the uh, rubble on top of it. We just need to get rid of the pathing. Come on, there we go. All right, so uh, that leaves us a space right here for another four long building. Uh, we don't really have anything else that needs to be four long aside from the wood workshop, which honestly probably should be up here anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this. We'll put one of those right there. Uh, we've got some more space here. I have, looks like this is four tiles wide, which I could either do another two of these, or I could just put in an engine or something here and then some storage along the side, or we could just keep moving stuff all together. All sorts of opportunities exist for us here. But the fact that remains we have to have power and these guys obviously aren't gonna do anything. And while we don't have to have power for the entirety of the drought for all of this to run, we do want to be able to run at least a little bit of stuff. So we'll go ahead, unlock this guy, and then we will go ahead and put one of these in. I'm just assuming 
it's probably going to make the most sense to do this. So I'll just put that guy there. And then on the other side, uh, judging by how things are going, probably going to want to have multiple wood workshops. So I'll just go ahead and put that right there. And we will consider that to be something that is going to be worth doing. So all that to say, almost 12 minutes into this, we have not unpaused. We'll go ahead, unpause, let them do what they need to do and continue to examine our options down here. We do have another nine days ish before this is going to be a problem to not be, uh, not be taken care of. So, uh, there are logs available for harvesting here. So what we're going to do instead of just mass deleting these, I'm going to unmark this entire thing for cutting. So our guys here have to come on down and get into this, but What's that you say? They can't actually reach any of them? Well, that certainly is correct. And my solution to that is thus. Get rid of all this. And put in a temporary staircase. So they can actually access it. And if that becomes the case, then the distance technically, technically, will be longer. But they'll be able to get down into this side and solve that problem by adding another one of these guys just to make sure. So they can also harvest some of these if we felt like it, but I don't think we want to mess with that. So that is going to take care of those problems. And now we can address the next ones, which are the dams here are letting too much water out in places we don't want it to be let out. So what's going to have to happen is I'm going to replace a bunch of these with just regular levees. And then eventually, oh, so that was a problem I probably should have foreseen. Uh, eventually with terrain. But the idea is I want to be able to have most of the water come out. I'm going to have a little bit come in here, but I want most of it to come out in the corners. So that way it's going to be forced through this water wheel here. So we'll start with the first two right there being replaced. And then, oh yeah, this is gonna, this is just gonna let out so much water. But it's only, it's only a nine-day drought. Not gonna be the end of the world, but they'll take care of that. And then I guess these other ones that aren't being pumped, it's not gonna matter at all anyway. So uh, I don't know if it's gonna let me get away with this. Yeah, I'm probably probably just gonna have to do this whole thing again. The whole path's not being. Uh, deletable when the building under them is gone is just a little bit annoying. And by just a little bit, I mean just a lot of it, but what else are you going to do? So this right here, these three on the outside in the corner here are going to stay. Uh, the rest of these are going to become levees. And of course, we'll put the path back on top of all of this. So again, what that's going to do is that's going to concentrate the output into the corners where it can flow most effectively and not cause any problems. And when we eventually do go back and start growing other trees and stuff here, maybe we'll put some more mangroves in, uh, we'll have to modify this. But for right now, having most of the water concentrated in a smaller space for exit is going to improve our uh, ability to actually construct stuff down here or build things, whatever you want to call it but I'm reluctant to open up more than two of these at a time down here because it's going to, it's going to move all of our water out of the farming area. And we definitely don't want that. And also these guys have more than enough on their plates already. So let's go into uh, triple speed here and take care of the rest of these problems. Food wise, we're still looking okay with a hundred beavers. We've got decent water supply. We're going to be pumping probably most of this out anyway. But I will go ahead right now and pause these two because this is where we're growing food and we want this to just evaporate naturally instead of uh, getting sucked out. But this side is fine to pump out. This corner obviously is fine to pump out as well. So that's looking okay there. And one would hope, yeah, they're, they're not going to have a fighting chance at all of actually completing any of this if I don't prioritize it. So let's 
Let's just do that because they got so much other stuff on their plate. Give them the ability to take care of that. And another thing people were saying is that you got way too many berries. And yeah, that is probably true. We should isolate the berries to this faraway quadrant and we should strategically remove the rest of these guys and replace them with other crops because this is not going to be enough. <laughs> this stuff right here. Now, this is pretty much bad tide proofed into this corner. So the berries being the most fragile and annoying ones to get back should be in this quadrant. And then uh, this would open up plenty of space here until we can actually come in with our uh, irrigation blocks or barriers, whatever the game calls this stuff. So I'm gonna just going to start manually removing these that don't have berries on them. Give them something to do. And avoid wasting berries that we otherwise could have harvested. It's going to be a little bit of a uh, work in progress here as we continue going around. And we will need to add some additional storage as well. No, not that one. That one's got berries on it. So what we're going to have to do, if this is going to become berry central, we want to have storage and uh, we really should be building large warehouses, but we don't have any of those pesky planks. So for the time being, uh, we're just going to go ahead and put in, uh, this is the only place I can build one right now, another couple of, where are the berries? There they are. Another couple of these things just so we have somewhere to put all these berries and we don't have to waste them because we definitely want to have them. As you can see, the food supplies go down extremely quickly when you cannot do anything here. And of course, all of these buildings... Man, I, di I just did not do this the correct way at all, did I? Boy, that sure is stupid of me. Ugh, what a pain. This is why I don't like these. That's a stupid reason not to like them. You're just stupid. All right. Well, that's fine. You can have your opinion. Uh, we're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna have to go ahead. Oh man, this is such a pain. Uh, go ahead and put these guys in. At least one of these, so I can make some planks, so I can build the rest of this garbage. That's uh, apparently just how this has to work. So that's gonna be the priority now, and then I will have to run only one of these. And look at that. We're we're already just about out of the. Uh, the good quality of food because we can't run anything until we have more planks. What a life, huh? This, yes, I, I understand this is entirely my fault. Don't come for me in the comments. I, I, I have accepted that. What do you mean you can't... Oh, okay, because this hasn't been built yet. All right. Oh, because we don't have any planks, of course. So this guy... Oh, his range is even worse. Okay, well, that was stupid of me to do it that way. I should have put this uh, closer here. Can I... Oh. No, it's because it's counting these stairs in that. But if this is only... It's like the same distance as this. Why, why did I even do this? Why did I, why did I do this this way? All right, planks. I got to have this so we can have any hope of getting this accomplished today. All right. Animation overload. Get yourself in here and make some power for our industrial lumber mill, would you? There we go, 69% uh, power input. Making planks very, very, very slowly. Ugh. So this is a new interface since they've changed it in update five, or one of the updates of update five, the sub update to the update. Department of Redundancy Department, how can I direct your call? Uh, we have a new interface because this doesn't have an employee anymore. It's a haulers only. So we can apparently uh, have a slider for battery charging. I think that's part of the smart power mod. But um, the rest of this stuff is obviously the same. So now this is built to go absolutely nowhere because I stupidly decided it had to connect to this one thing as one does. So now that's uh, apparently something that was a smart idea. Anyway, now we are gathering mangroves slowly. Thanks, Paul Phillips, for your contributions in that manner. And what's going to go here is going to be our other levees, which I will put to there. We'll put a floodgate here. 
And then, of course, on that side, we will put some additional levees. I don't intend to really need to flood these things, so I think for right now, I'm just going to put the single levee in the middle. And we can uh, call that good enough. Call that mission accomplished. But let's get this one on the side here. Nope, that is not the rotate key. That was E. Good job. There you go. Grab that thing out. And then we will be in extremely good shape here. But I will uh, avoid placing the last of this in until all of these dead ones are harvested. And that's going to look quite nice. So the, uh, the question now becomes, will the irrigation barriers, if placed under the water next to a levee, stop the spread of the bad water? I don't know that they will. I don't know that they will. So we will probably, probably end up making this just regular, uh, regular terrain and deleting all this again, because you, you know how these things go. But uh, we're going to find out just as soon as we're able to actually, you know, do anything like this. All right, we got three days left in the drought. We are out of food, including the berries. So you, you, can, you can clearly see why this is such a problem to not have, uh, not have power in place. Because this is, uh, well, this is actually completely unnecessary. Now we need to, uh, eh, we got to make some more planks. Let's go, boys. Let's get this stuff done. Oh, uh, we can make. Oh, here goes that. Here goes that math again. Oh man, a plank every two thirds of an hour, and we don't have we don't have enough logs. So we've been building stuff, but I haven't been. What happened to all those logs? Did did we already? Well, this shouldn't be burning anything at all. So why is it like this? Oh, and we're hungry and we're mad and we're having a great time. Yep absolutely uh, classic me scenarios here. So here's what we have to do. We've got to now spend all of our resources having beavers collect uh, berries, so that's the only way we can survive. So come one, come all, come work at the gatherer flags. There we go. Yep. Oh, this is going to make me so mad if we start dying of hunger. I don't know, it's like every every single time I record one of these videos, I do something stupid that ruins this entire playthrough. But that's showbiz, baby. The show must go on. And people seem to really enjoy suffering on my part, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, get, get over here and start harvesting these blueberries so people can actually eat. Because I have to have planks so I can make other stuff. And if you have a lower well-being, then guess what? You make less power on the power wheel. Because that's a thing that is uh, logical, I suppose. Ugh. Well, mercifully, there's only 1.6 days left. Um, yeah, this is... Yep. Yep, that is the full extent of my opinions. <laughs> that I can... That I can say without... Uh, without... You know. There we go. So now, now we got to build this back up, but they can't because there's no wood, and there's no wood because we... I don't even know. I guess we've just been using too much of it. And we haven't even built any... What? Where's the wood going? We had 200-some wood. Did they just pre-build all of this stuff without planks? I guess that's what they did. Well... Not really any way to solve that problem. Just gotta get these guys picking berries. Come on, let's go. Michelle Tipton was born. That's a beard booster name. These should all be beard boosters at this point. I believe. I had thought I'd replaced all of the names. I guess so. Man, we're all hungry and thirsty. What a miserable experience it is living in this colony. Let me tell you what. Sheesh. This is bad news stuff here. Alright. So. I guess we're going to pause these guys. Yeah, see, that's the problem with... Oh, all this new irrigation stuff just completely flips everything on its head. 
now this is out of water too, so that's going to be, uh, yeah, that's going to be something all right. I can't do anything about it because I don't have enough planks and I don't have enough planks because I don't have enough power and I don't have enough power because I don't have enough stuff built to connect the power. Very intelligent gameplay here. And this isn't, oh, I just completely screwed myself. That's what happened. Quality entertainment right here. Nobody's died of hunger yet. Yet. It's coming. Don't you worry. Um, well, at least the uh, at least the power is going to be back, and then I can I can unpause all of our food related stuff. Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and turn those all back on. So we're about to get everything back. We have plenty of canola oil, actually. I did not think that was going to be the case. All right, cycle 11 begins. Dying of old age is better than dying of hunger or thirst, as it turns out. And we have 14 open jobs. Yep. Oh, and these dried out. That's, uh, yep. All right. Well, that's the way she goes. Not much else we can do there. So this uh, failed experiment, I guess, can... Uh, conclude down here and I will just have them harvest these trees again. I really thought I was going to be able to actually accomplish something there, but I guess not. So now why is this? Oh, and this ah! Ah, ah! Oh my god, man. And I <laughs> Oh, by putting that there, I completely broke everything. Alright. New highest priority in the history of mankind is to build this fermenter. And I don't even have I don't even have the logs for it. What am I what am I doing, man? Oh, and these blueberries are dead. Okay, well that means I can put something else here then. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we'll uh, we'll get it figured out. Alright, find me five more logs. Cause we are uh, we're very hungry. My god, we did negative eleven. Yeah, okay, we're gonna lose half yep, dying of hunger. Man. It's like a permanent famine state in these things. So cut these trees down. Yeah, just cut this just cut all this down at this point. Save the beavers any way you can. Alright, now go to work and make food. We have tons of stuff. Yeah, dying of hunger. Dying of old age. Rites of passage here, it seems. All right, so what else can we even do? I don't, I, I don't even know that I can do anything. Oh, well, also, we spent uh, 120 logs building the dams, which is good. It's going to hold water in, except, you know, the whole thing that uh, this doesn't have anything in there. Ah, man. Genuine question. Do you find it annoying that all of these plans get derailed every single episode because I make stupid mistakes? Please answer honestly. I imagine the answer is yes, but I just don't even know how to prevent it. I got, I, I don't know, man. I got 500 hours in this game. It's like every single time I open it up, something happens that just completely brain blasts me and just, I, 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 I don't even know. Well, at least we've only had one die of hunger so far. Maybe, maybe that will change. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Okay, so nobody's working the inventors as they uh, should not be working in there. Uh, builders' huts probably. Sh okay, that's already. Uh, okay, that's already set like that. That's fine. Well, we have uh, maybe at some point the ability to put these things up here. Do I have anything down here? No, I don't. I just need these planks. I guess I can turn them both of these on now that we're actually making some amount of power. Food slowly recovering. I just, I'm getting real tired of the food being an every episode problem. I'm just gonna be uh, just gonna be honest with you guys here. So let's um, let's take some steps to fix that, shall we? Plant some more crops around here. So the soybeans. Uh, 
probably need to continue being planted around like this. Just got to get the rest of that stuff out of here. So that's what we'll do. I'll just have this closest to this uh, canal that is not going to be a canal for too much longer. And we'll just we'll just grow all this as soybeans. Those seem to be the favorite crop whenever they are harvested and refined and all that. Just something that takes a while to get done. And what we're going to end up doing most likely... I wonder if I should... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, take these out of here. And we'll put farmhouses here in the center. We probably should have the farmhouses clustered more toward the center anyway, based on how this is set up. But under normal circumstances, this is more than enough berries. Way more than we need. We'll just have to uh, see what happens as time goes by. All right, so now I've got space. Well, we don't have the beavers to run these things, but we'll make that happen. And since I can flip these... There we go. The exit's going to be slightly further away to try and prioritize the outer outer bits there. So that seems to work, hopefully, maybe, just a little bit. Uh, do I have any more? Yeah, I got some I can put here. Uh, we're not going to need to have this many gatherer flags. So I will actually take out all but these two. And these honestly need to be moved to the other side anyway. So I can plant some additional... I already had that open. Plant some additional soybeans. So right now this guy is just all by himself uh, harvesting the berries that don't exist. How are we still out of water? <laughs> I got how many pumps? How many pumps going? Four, six, eight, eleven water pumps and we're still completely out? I think it's because they're dumping a ton of this into this and it's evaporating. Oh, this is disastrous. The consequences of this irrigation change are just too much. So, am I going to have to dump all of my uh, all of my science into terraforming? I think I might have to. There's just no uh, there's just no reasonable way to solve this. These are all marked for cutting and they're cuttable, so what are we uh, what, what, are, what are we actually doing here? Let's get that taken care of. This is plenty of wood to be harvested. They just can't do it fast enough. Okay, soybeans. Same thing here. Uh, canola. I guess. Probably the way this is set up. If we want to be smart about it. Should probably should just make the canola here because this is never going to be uh, infected with the bad water juice this far in. And then we can have the cassavas and the kohlrabis in the more vulnerable parts. Uh, this is a lot of canola to harvest, so I'm not going to continue it down here. This can be kohlrabis. But we will uh, be mindful of the limitations of our irrigation range. I believe right here is where that, uh, that comes up to. So we'll leave that uh, as it is. That was coming out to here. There we go. And the rest of this can be soybeans. Lots of stuff for them to do. So this can get undone. Yeah, it just, it baffles me how we have so little water. 100 beavers is really not that much. That just means we require 200 units of water a day. And the amount that these are pumping per day is three per hour, 18 hour work day. So maximum, maximum uh, 48 per pump per day. And we have 11 of them. Now, obviously you're not going to get your maximum and transportation logistics, all that. It's going to reduce the effectiveness depending on how you have stuff set up. And this is definitely not the optimal setup either. But I kind of feel like it shouldn't be this bad. I, I know the uh, fluid dumps are probably 
just absolutely murdering our ability to actually do anything here. But I've got to be able to find the logs, and I know I know we need to have these these things constructed so we can actually have the engines running. But I need to be able to find the logs to close this in at the very least. Because so now these two are in place. Uh, I'm actually, yeah, let's um let's go ahead and lower the priority on that for right now. This clearly is gonna take way longer than we want to mess with, and I don't wanna uh, I don't wanna delete that yet either, even though that is in place. Yeah, it's just mm, it was an interesting idea that I jumped into way too early. Like we're not even we're not even sending water off over here. And we're supposed to be generating power this whole time. So I I really uh I really need to have I don't know why I thought I thought I had this set up the right way to be doing this. But I guess not. Okay, I guess I just moved the wrong one. I don't know. I got to figure out something with the floodgate automations. I, I understand that I'm doing it wrong. I just, I don't, I don't know what to do. Do not know what to do. And there's not really any other way to uh, solve that right now. Anyway, let's see. We've got room for more Kohlrabi's here. Why is this? I thought I told him to get rid of all this. That's going to be fine there. Soybeans continue. Kohlrabi's continue. Uh, once these farmhouses are here, this should help us out uh, a lot. But we're not not quite there. Not quite there yet. It is just so weird to me that we have so few. I mean, I know we ate through all the berries, but we've, we've really got to get these numbers up for the rest of the stuff. That just seems uh, a little bit suspect. Just Just a tiny bit. Okay, canola oil, we're down to 75, so I probably should turn this back on. But right now I don't have enough beavers to run the stuff I already have going. I guess I could lower the priority on the builder's huts that are over here as well. So these guys can do, go do other stuff. So maybe the maybe the 14 missing ones are just uh, things we already had deprioritized and I don't really need to worry about it. All right, so we're waiting on, waiting on 18 planks. These two are both running. I really, I should have built more, should have built more of those plank things. Because I've got two gear factories. I probably, at this point, just need to uh, replace one of these with another plank thing. Yeah, because they can make, uh, three hours for a gear is not going to be enough. Uh, well, I'll tell you what I can do. I can solve, quote unquote... A lot of this by just uh, just building another one of these up here, and we'll flip it because we can. And by another one, I mean another two. That might help, maybe. Assuming they build this first, which they absolutely should. I don't. Know, I just just need these guys to actually like build stuff, man. All right, canola, do your thing. Come on, let me click. All right, so this is going to be more permanent kohlrabi stocks here, more permanent soybeans. So that's going to work out very nicely, having that many soybeans available at all times. Uh, this probably at this point is still too much canola, but we are we are where we are. Now, I should probably be growing things in hydroponic gardens, but our water situation is still so awful that I don't really... Uh, I don't really think that's a wise choice at this exact moment in time. Wait, why are these not set to two? They need to be, they, those need to be all the way up so all the water comes out of here. That's uh, probably what our problem is. Because yeah, this has not been able to do anything and I need more metal. And this is waiting on planks, so it just needs five, but we <laughs> still don't have them. Oh, so these are built, okay, good, finally. Finally, this... This is all done. Okay. All right. Prioritize by haulers. Get those logs in there. We don't have any, but I still have to burn them anyway. 
but we are, I guess, technically making enough power, maybe, if they... I don't know why this is stopped if it has logs in it, but... Don't know. What about the rest of this? I'm just going to clear cut all of this wood. There's no, no point in uh, doing that stripe thing anymore. This is already... Already proving to be uh, not the best choice here. Can I? Might as well. Since we are already at this point. Um, double dynamite a 5x5 five five area here. So we can have all of our irrigation. Uh, just remove this one tree here. Yeah, let's just get all this in place. Because you know we're going to need it eventually anyway. Might as well do it now. Probably could have gotten away with a 3x3 three three in all honesty, but uh, I figured it would be a little bit smarter for us to... Uh... Oh, you know what I didn't... I didn't consider is that I only had so much... Why did I do this to myself? Because now... <laughs> okay, so they built they built nine. Because I have nine. Oh no, now they built ten. I should have had them build these middle ones. Middle ones first. Now if I remove this, I will get the explosives back. But not, now I... Oh man. Now the bad part is now I need a bad tide. So I can actually get some more bad water out of this. Okay, good choices. Good choices have been made. Um, all right, so here's here's what we're gonna have to do. I'm gonna get those. I'm just gonna get these back and have them put those here, and we'll move on with our lives and we'll expand this as we're able to. Doesn't really need to be super complicated, but let's uh, give them a chance to do something, I suppose. Hey, there's the bad tide. Probably going to screw up a whole lot of other stuff, but we, we need the bad water. So I find myself in the very weird position of cheering for destruction. But now, now we actually have full height water here in the mangroves, which uh, when the bad tide comes in, will go down to 0.6 and probably evaporate before the end. But, but that's an improvement. That is, in fact, what we were wanting this whole time anyway. So that, oh, and how is, oh, now it's flooded. Now there's too much. Mm. <laughs> okay, yeah, we are, uh, we are certainly making choices today. Do I have enough wood for this? All right, let's, um. Let's choose to do this methodically here. Mark these as top priority. Oh uh, yeah, this is uh, bad news. I'm going to have to just open that so it doesn't completely flood and kill everything. But we need to get we need to get maybe only one or two of these actually dispensing water into the mangrove area. And it needs to be stabilized too. So this one is going to be a levy as well. So if I have three and three on either side, then I'm going to have five in the middle. If I take out two of those, so I only have three. So I'm just thinking out loud here. What would make the most sense? Truthfully, I don't really know. But I guess we will find out together. We'll start with the uh, we'll start with these five in the middle and see if that is a a problem when we get there. Um, but the clean water the clean water issue is going to be it's going to be interesting because we only have five hundred. That might seem like a lot, but that's only two and a half days worth just for the beavers, let alone all of this stuff. So let's um, please don't step on the explosives, you absolute buffoons. Um, I'm not going to. I guess I could. So this is all going to be five by five anyway. Uh, put the last one of those there. Double platforms here. How did I have this one set up? It's not like it really matters. It's all going to be the same anyway. But I could, I could try for radial symmetry here. That would probably be 
completely unnecessary, but still a decent idea. So right here we have a farmhouse and then uh, all that. This is instead of a farmhouse, of course, going to be a, uh, a forester, which I will put there. And then on the back side, we'll put uh, just like we did down here, two of these lumberjack flags and a tooth grinder, which will fit quite nicely here. And eventually this will probably be uh, not tree farming, but for right now we need it to be tree farming. We'll get that all uh, taken care of. So yes, long run. Long run, we really need to get the rest of this taken care of. But we don't have enough bad water for it. And that's going to be gone, which means we can put that there. And then put the path right back on top of it, just as soon as that's in place. All right, so we've got 0.6 days left. I'm going to put this all the way up. We'll see how bad this floods still with five inlets right there. It's probably still going to flood, maybe, maybe. Well, there's the five outlets, so five inlets actually does make sense. The issue now that we're running into, though, is uh, they're not coming out of the corner here, so I really should have done this, really should have done this uh, a little bit more on this side maybe to start with instead of this one. Because this is where the water comes in, and this is where the water comes in here. Of course, it's going to go out at the most convenient possible location. So I don't really know, I don't really know what to do about that. I guess we'll have to just uh, figure it out as we go. But I digress. Not really much I can do about it now with 0.4 days left before the bad tide, so I think all we have to do is just kind of... Uh, figure everything else out. So we do still have these set for contamination, uh, automatic shutting, disabled during droughts, disabled during, t oh, disabled during temperance. That's what I should have checked. And then just have the default state of these to be to that. Oh, well, that's how I had that one set. So why was it not up? I don't know. It's like every time I open this thing, I learn a new way in which my brain doesn't work. So we'll see if this actually fixes anything. I'm not entirely convinced it will. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I didn't want that one to be. I wanted that one to be down. Okay, I'm glad I uh, glad I cut that. Uh, did I? Okay, good. We're still still looking okay. So now all of the. Yep. Oh, now it's flooding again because of because of how I had this. Uh, okay. Well. Long term, we're not going to want this all to be like this, but for right now, for right now we do. Well, actually, I should want this closed because the bad tide's about to show up. Yeah, that's that that makes sense. Th these trees aren't going to die from being over flooded for a day and a half. All right, bad tide. So we should see these slam shut. Please. Oh no, now these are going to overflow because I had a... Uh... Oh no, that's still at 1.5, that's fine. But these I did not automate, so we... Uh... Okay, let's... Let's just panic open these all the way so we don't get any... Oh, jeez. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go, friends. Welcome to bad water hell because I made stupid choices. Uh, why why did I do this? <sighs> Jeez. All right. So now we have to oh where's where's that in here? Decontamination pods. Oh, I only have 6 extract. I have metal. Yes. Okay, well, I guess we can we're going to have to build decontamination pods now. Okay. Oh my god, man. Seriously? Okay. Well, we didn't contaminate anything except all of our canola. And... Oh, god. Existence is suffering. Obviously. Is what we have learned today. Um, give me... These decontamination pods and all that. 19! Are you... 19! 
19 contaminated beavers. Yikes. How, how do I even come back from this, man? All right. So now I've got to come up here. And I've got to get rid of... How does this happen? How does this happen? I know how it happens. The The answer is I make bad choices. But it's, it's more of a rhetorical, like, I can't believe... I've done this. What, what's what's that meme where, like the British kid gets like smacked in the face and he says, I can't believe you've done this. Oh, f I can't believe you've done this. Well, I'm going to have six of these here. 18 unwell beavers. These all take 100. Oh my God, we're not going to be able to do this. 100, 100 horsepower HPs. Whatever. I got to get, I got to get the, I, this isn't even rebuilt yet. Okay. We have uh, clearly, clearly made some extremely stupid decisions, but what what can you do? There isn't really much. Uh, this fluid dump, uh, because of my infinite genius in putting the double platforms and the uh, everything else here, is probably insufficient to actually maintain most of this. So I guess. I guess that's fun. Uh, this is now no longer... Whatever. So this is now, because I have this shut... This is actually full. I did not think it would be. Well. As soon as we actually have extract, we can have our unwell beavers get kind of well. I don't have the space or the resources to build 18 of these, so there's probably going to be a pretty good amount of them that will die. That sucks. Big time. Oh, and we're out of food. And why Why does this go... I feel like this goes further than it used to. Now this goes seven. Is that because of how full this is? No, that can't be it. All right, well... Let's just uh, forget about planting those. I feel like this is gonna have to be uh, gonna have to be prioritized by haulers. All of these are to keep them nice and full. Why did I put that on that? Oh, I shouldn't have put that on that side. Oh well, I don't think it really is gonna end up mattering at all. We have pine resin, at least, so we can make uh, treated planks. So we can try. Try being the operative term to uh, actually keep trees alive. Oh, you know what? I should not have had these stairs left here. Let's uh, avoid that. Okay, so I have the irrigation barriers. Uh, and I'm not going to let them walk down in there. If I put two down here, I guess we could see if this... Uh, stops this from spreading at all. If it doesn't, then we're going to know that we're going to have to put uh, terrain in here. So just finish this thing up. I'm not really, I'm not really expecting this to do that much. But this is kind of a pretty low level, so... Okay, that did absolutely nothing. So this... Uh, Strategy is not going to work. They have to be on the surface. They have to be on the surface, not submerged, or they have to have a block on the other side. It's really going to make this super hard. How am I? How am I supposed to? Ugh, whatever. Love it when I have to destroy my brain to figure out basic game mechanics again after playing for five hundred hours. But. That's the way it goes. I guess I will just go ahead and put a whole line of this here. And we'll see how uh, how it affects our land up here. It should, in theory, in theory, uh, block most of this middle section. And because there's 
stuff on this side, even though it's not very tall. I'm actually surprised it's not infected down here. Well, I think we're going to have to wait for more than one of these to be done before we can actually see any appreciable difference. Still have 18 contaminated beavers. I guess we could check and see if our pods are actually... They're not even loaded. What, what are you doing, man? I guess we have to have uh, prioritized by haulers to get anything in here, huh? That's a nice sound for the uh, decontamination pods. So are we just not going to... Uh, we just not going to do this or what? Oh, there's no haulers because they're all contaminated. My God. What kind of... Jeez. What kind of absolute buffoon am I doing doing with this? I, I can't even plant trees. Why? Well, I, I guess I could. All right. Oak trees. We'll just go on this side for right now. All right, so we got one beaver. Who is this? Peach Jackson, contam uh, contaminated but uh, recovering. Anybody else? Anybody else going to take advantage of this, or are we all just going to die? Doesn't seem like a very uh, fun way to go out. We need to have more bad water. And I was going to prepare, too, by building one of those giant tanks, but... We keep having to solve more and more micro crises every single time something comes up, and I never end up able to actually do what I want to do here. That is a shame. So gears wise, I should have enough to build these. Let's go ahead and do that. This needs to be prioritized by haulers. So do these. So these pumpers can pump everything they need to pump. I oh man, I'm not even making dynamite because that's paused. But I, I gotta have gotta have bad water. I guess I just need to focus on harvesting it. All right, so we're down to 17 contaminated beavers. Is that because somebody died, or is that because they got healed? Oh, it's almost certainly because they died. Yeah, because these are. Uh, Ah, uh, that's, that's rough. Good news, though, is that this does seem to kind of be working. The further along we get, the more of these uh, disappear. So I, I don't know what the exact range of math works out to, but I think if we get the rest of these five put in, uh, it's possible that everything except this one corner could be usable. And of course, we're going to go around the back as well. But we're uh, we're working. We're we're getting something kind of done here. Man, I just wish I could put paths over these without having to have completely elevated. That that is really going to mess this up. That is going to cause so many problems. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to probably. Probably put levees along this entire side. Lower this down by one. Put irrigation barriers and then put uh, platforms on top of that. I think would make the most sense. But we'll uh, we'll have to see what happens. I guess seems like we're gonna constantly be out of water until I can fix all that stuff. But I have so many so many jobs that are unable to be filled because I've got contaminated beavers. I don't even know. Like we're gonna be in uh, we're gonna be in kind of a rough position for a while now. One day left to gather more bad water. I, I can't... Uh, building another pump's not going to help because I'm not going to have beavers to run it. Now this is... Oh yeah, that's the contamination. That's that's what's doing it to us. But we're not uh, we're not dying of thirst and we're not dying of starvation. We're just dying of having the garbage in the beavers. Oh boy. Well. I guess we're about due for a catastrophe in this playthrough anyway. After how well it was going, I'm surprised it hadn't happened earlier. So we have still the same five of these left. I think it's because we don't have treated planks. And this... Yeah, these are both running. 
And I think they're just, yeah, they're extracting these things pretty much immediately and taking them down to, uh, down to this area. So I guess we have our work cut out for us the uh, next episode of this to start uh, bad water proofing. Oh, oh yeah, and then we run out of, then we're running out of water here, and these soybeans will die. Oh God, it's it's worse than temperamental house plants. It's like you you either overwater the plant or you underwater the plant, or it decides that it doesn't like you, throws you a big old middle finger and a you know what, and then dies anyway. I don't know. Some people have a green thumb. I have, I don't even know what the opposite of that would be. Whatever, whatever, whatever color or type of thumb that just immediately causes any organic material to just perish in the most catastrophic, disastrous way. I, I cannot keep plants alive. So I guess they've decided to extend that to here. And the canola. So, uh... I'm glad we have 421 of the seeds stored up because all of this is going to be dead. There's, there's no way. There's no way this has become that hard. In the span of two weeks. There's no way. Oh, and this is now not have... Oh, no, the beavers are just thirsty. All right, so the bad tide's over. We've managed to only store up 315 bad water. Ugh, a lot of which is going to probably have to go to con curing contaminated beavers, but we need to make dynamite so we can continue to solve all of our problems that are caused by the bad water that we can't harvest because we don't have enough manpower. All right, so. I don't know. I think we're at the point in the, this playthrough where I start to lose my mind, just like we have with the uh, the water beavers. So, uh, I don't know. Words of encouragement, exorcisms, etc. Please direct those to the comments section below. And we'll, uh, we'll see what happens in the next one. This is going to be interesting because uh, not really getting much done. If we have to put out fires and all these incredible, ridiculous problems every single time I load up this save file. So I suppose we will just have to wait and see. Uh, let's take some... Uh, we still don't even have any food either! Because of all this. I mean, they're working, but they don't somehow have... I don't know how they don't have any soybeans. I planted thousands of these stinking things. I don't know, man. <laughs> the beavers, the beavers have revolted against me and caused me to, uh, I guess, just be terrible at the game now. So that's the end of this one. Appreciate you, even if it seems like I'm having a miserable time because the game is just absolutely destroying me six ways from Sunday every time I loaded up this last week. It seems I do enjoy doing this, and I enjoy getting uh, <laughs> talked with you guys, and I'm appreciative of the support. And, uh, of course, beard boosters as well. Just wish it would go a little bit better because it's it's not very entertaining for you if I am bad at doing this. And it's not very much fun for me if I'm bad at doing it either. So we'll, we'll see. We'll hope things get better in the uh, next episode on Sunday. I think it's Sunday. I don't know what's what anymore, I guess. But we'll we'll see what happens. So whatever it is you're doing, I hope you have a fun and a safe day and a much better day than these beavers have had, especially the 16 that are still contaminated. And we will see you tomorrow for the Folktales playthrough, Saturday for the, uh, what are they called? The misery beavers, the water beavers. Uh, and then the uh, cycle begins again, and we'll see what happens. So appreciate you. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.